Hey everyone, welcome to Intro to Vet Med. Today we're going to go over your basic drug calculation. Let's get into it. I assure you calculating drugs is going to be one of the easiest math problems that you can do in Vet Med. When we get into drip rates and CRIs and all that fun stuff, that's when we're going to be up for more of a challenge. But this, you got this. This is easy. Easy peasy. We're going to break it down into three super easy steps and you're gonna get this. The first thing you're gonna need is the drug dose. You will get this from your doctor. They will let you know what the dose is that they wanna give. This could be in many forms, mig per kg, microgram per kg, unit per pound. Pay attention to your units and pay attention to whether it's in pounds or kilograms. You might have to convert micrograms to migs or migs to micrograms in your problem. So just pay close attention to that. Second, we need the animal weight, and this can be taken in kilograms or pounds. And again, you might have to do a conversion with these later, but it's super easy to convert these numbers, so don't fret. Just remember that there are 2.2 pounds per every kilogram. Easy peasy math. And number three you will need the concentration of the drug you are using. This may be migs per mil, units per mil, micrograms per mil. Just again, you need to pay attention to your units. And if you're using lidocaine, you might see your concentration is 2%. So with those, you'll have to remember 2% is 20 migs per mil. But these are all things that you'll learn on the job and it will just be instilled in your brain. You won't even have to think about it after a while. Now that we have these three things, we will put it into an equation. It will be dose times your animal's weight divided by the concentration of your drug. And this will get you how much medication you will need to give your animal. It's a very simple equation. We will go over an example problem in my next video. So make sure you follow along if you want to go through the math problem together. I appreciate you sticking here for this long, and I look forward to doing more veterinary math with you in the future. See you later. Bye!